Welcome back to the Charismatic Voice. Today I get to react to two of my all-time favorite things, acapella music and Disney. This is going to be Voctive performing a Disney love medley, and this will feature Kirsten, uh, the female singer from the Pentatonics, and Jeremy Michael Lewis. And as far as I understand, I think that they were together when they recorded this. I don't know if they were engaged yet. Uh, they're not together anymore. But uh, when I saw that it was a love medley and it was featuring them, I was like, oh, that's adorable. Also, in honor of Disney, I couldn't help it. Yes, this is my Disney sweatshirt with the ears completed on, on top. I know you guys are probably sick of me in Disney already. It's been a lifelong thing for me, Disney. Uh, I grew up on it. My senior recital, I arranged a medley of Disney songs. It wasn't a love medley. It was just more of a dream medley uh, that I sang with two other girls a cappella. So yeah, Disney and a cappella goes way, way, way back in my jeans. I'm, I'm so excited. <laughs> Let's get to it. <laughs> Okay, yeah, they're cute. Um, anyhow, um, before we get too much into his voice, let's talk about the arrangement and her voice. Uh, the guy that does the arrangements for Voctive has got an amazing record for making really, really cool vocal arrangements. So I was super excited to hear this one. Jamie Ray is his name. And uh, I really love... Um, I love that they have ooze in the background because ooze, they tend to create um, like a more soothing background. It's a, it lets a center vocalist stick out of the texture more. So I, I also really like that he's using a do, which is a voiced consonant, a D is a voiced consonant, t would be the unvoiced version, and d will create a softer sound that is still articulated, whereas a t, like a T, would break through a little bit too much and be too sharp on the sound. So he's chosen some sounds for the background vocals that don't take our attention too much away from Kirsten singing lead. But they're also super intricate. And the ladies on top, they are killing it. It's so hard to do those little notes on top as precisely as they're doing them. So I have some major respect right now for what they're doing. Kirsten is awesome. I love her expression while just being beautifully on pitch. And she has great, great, great diction. She should be a Disney princess. And her original tone quality is just, it's got something extra. It's got a little extra brightness behind it uh, that helps her, again, come out from the texture of 11 other people singing. So... It's a really, really nice combination of the two. Okay, I'm gonna rewind a little bit. Look at his cute smile. Okay, but I'm gonna rewind a little bit and catch when he comes in. Again, the arrangement is super awesome. So, ooh as a vowel sits further behind. Uh, it tends to be a little quieter. Ahs are really great for building and dynamics. And then when people start to sing words all together, you know it's a bigger moment for sure. 
And he did just that. So it's been do-do-do-do-do. And then they went, ah, oh, and at last I see the light. Uh, check that out. It's such good vocal writing. So we're going to rebind back and catch it. And they're so stinking cute. Okay, yeah. Okay, here's your ooze. Notice that when they got quiet, they went back to ooh. So again, really great uh, background vocal writing here. The ladies on top that were doing the ear candy, uh, that was amazing. I also loved that vocal writing. It definitely gave it a little extra sparkle on top. It was super fun. Let's keep going. Okay, but we have to go back in and appreciate that top soprano one more time. She held that, whoever, I don't know who it is in the background, but wow, the way she held that note out there, it sounds like, it sounds like a, a jazz training, um, the way she held it without any vibrato there. Uh, but at the same time, she has a little more roundness in her tone quality than a lot of jazz singers. Jazz singers tend to have a little more airiness usually but not always so I'm, I'm wondering like what her training was and where she comes from it was really good let's hear it again Come stop your crying. It'll be all right. just take my hand love it I think she was actually below him on that harmony. That was a really cool harmony. I really liked it. Uh, I'm loving how well timed the background vocals are. They're singing um, some more complicated rhythms at this point. It would be really easy for someone to rush just a little bit. But you can hear that their consonants are together and that's super impressive to do even with just a couple of people, much less 11 people. When destiny calls you, you must Ooh, be I'm gonna go back and catch that transition once more. Broken, I will be here, don't you cry. You cry when destiny calls you, you must be strong. You be strong. It may not be with you. switch the the background vocals became the main melody and then Kirsten and Jeremy were just singing little riffs on top of that 
I loved that switch out. It let the the group come out and be in front a little bit more. And you could even hear that in the mix. It definitely sounded like they were more forward. Uh, what a nice, nice way to switch it up. Ah, again, loving this vocal writing so much. is amazing she is she is pure gold on that top note wow okay i need to figure out what her name is she is killing it i i this was such a cool transition uh so we had tarzan before and now we've got some hercules going on i will go the distance i think um and uh in the middle of that transition, I'm sure you heard it this time, it was really obvious when they went from oohs to ahs, how the sound just grew a lot more. So I love the way that this is arranged to really capitalize on that ooh, ah transition. It's very, very good. Uh, let's go back a teensy bit to catch uh, Kirsten's intro. <laughs> Jeremy's voice a lot. I don't think I've ever heard him sing before. And I I like he has such he has a breathiness in his tone that isn't weak. Sometimes a breathy sound lacks strength. And instead he has um he has this breathiness that feels uh it feels like it's vibrant and alive and just really kind. Um, I also love the way that his tone quality uh, blends and even complements Kirsten's. It's a really nice, uh, it's a really nice pairing of voices. And also I like the way that they sound together as uh, they are a little bit in front of the mix from the rest of the group. So it's, uh, yeah, what a good what a good choice of voices to put together for this. Really, really, really nice casting there. Let's go back. Obviously, I get really excited about this kind of music, but um, I love they knew that their soprano was so good that they let her go up at the end and then the rest of Vakta follows. And I thought that was so awesome. I was like, is anybody else hearing how cool she is? And then they they showed me at the end that they know that she's just rocking the top notes in this song. Uh, also, 
Ah, Kirsten's belt is so pristine. It's just, mm, it's like right in the pocket. It's really healthily produced and it it's fun. At the same time, you see the way she's smiling through it. I like that a lot. Listen to this moment though, when, uh, we'll look for it. Check it out when they uh, all go after the soprano goes. <laughs> Let's do that one more time. She's so good! That was a great belt moment. Right there. Do you hear that at the very end when the soprano went up? And then everybody else followed her. It's, I'll go back just a couple seconds to hear it again. Here we go, soprano. Up. Oh. And then everyone else. <laughs> Love it. Ooh, also. I love that they got off that ending really quickly. They could have held it and grown still and then done a sharp cutoff, but this one left me wanting so much more. This was such a good arrangement and it was so cute to watch these two sing together. And I loved listening to the vocal writing, following those oohs to the ahs, listening to the different ways that they articulate and add more to the texture or kind of fall a little bit behind so that they're more in the background. Ah, it's just, it's really, really, really good. So <laughs> thank you so much for allowing me to just geek out about acapella music and Disney together. This was fun. Please make more recommendations below. Uh, obviously, if there's any more Disney and acapella, I'm gonna be doing that soon. Uh, but make other recommendations as well. I am very, very keen to continue with some more acapella groups. And uh, if you want to chat with me someday, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell for notifications because on Mondays, Fridays, and there will be some more days now as well, I am in a live chat room while videos are premiering. So I would love to get to know you and I hope to see you soon.